What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Life vs. Lymphedema. Brian is here, George is down there, and this, this is what the video is going to be about today. Lots of free promotion, so I'm tagging all y'all. If you feel like you want to sponsor me, hey, 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 I'm, I'm here for it. But um, I'm really here just to talk about my stage in the gastric bypass right now, and it involves all of these, all of these foods. For those of you who've been following, you know I recently had the gastric bypass surgery, the dual dental switch, which involves the taking out a part of your stomach and then the sleeve on what's left because, like, for the really, really, really fatties, that's where we are. And the surgery was a success. I feel great. My body hasn't rejected any food yet. And I got upgraded from the liquid phase to the puree stage really fast. Normally it's three or four weeks. For me, it was one week. And now I'm going from puree to soft proteins. So for those of you who have had the surgery or are thinking about having the surgery, I want you to know what my diet, and again, my results are atypical. I wanna show you what my diet looks like 17 days post-op. It may be a little later, 17, 18, I'll put the real time over there in the corner where it's not bothering anybody. So this is my meal plan. They want me to have five meals a day. And it's a little difficult to have meals. My bigger problem is hydrating. That's my biggest issue is I'm not getting enough fluids. I can tell you that right now. So here's what my day consists of. I wake up about seven, eight o'clock in the morning. I have a bottle of water. I have to wait for that to go down and wait 30 minutes before I have breakfast. Breakfast is one scrambled egg. One scrambled egg with cheese. That's my breakfast. I have no problem getting it down. It is a staple of the puree diet and I love eggs. I always heard that I was gonna to have to give up eggs after the surgery. That's not the case for me. Soft scrambled egg with cheese, we in there. After that, another bottle of water. Then comes a snack phase. What I have been doing are these Mott's no sugar added apple sauces. They come in strawberry and blueberry as well. I bought a pack of BJ's. It goes great. Bottle of Gatorade. Gatorade Zero at this point. For lunch, we're going tuna. Light tuna. It comes in these little packets. And honestly, this entire packet with a little bit of hot sauce and a little bit of pepper is very filling. Some people put mayonnaise with it. I'm told some people in the gastric uh, put mayonnaise with it. Not me. I'm good. Bottle of water. Protein shake. One full protein shake. I prefer muscle milk. We talked about that before. Um, but I'll also take whoever feels like sponsoring me as long as there's zero sugar. Whole bottle of that. Next is another snack. Now, the snacks can be anything. I have some uh, Danning yogurt. Danning Greek yogurt, light and fit. These sugar-free jellos. Snack pack sugar-free pudding. Also sugar-free jellos. Also, I'm kind of big into cubes of cheese. When it comes to dinner, I was doing spicy broth, and I still have it from time to time if I don't feel like standing and cooking dinner or whatever, but I have recently upgraded to this Lloyd's Pulled Chicken. Now, this is a gamble because it has a little more uh, sugars than I would have liked, but my body's not rejecting it. I also do ground turkey with a little bit of taco seasoning, one or the other, some type of protein, lean protein. Um, but this, this $5 Lloyd's chicken, I don't know if it's $5 in your area, but it's $5 in my area. And I've had this for about four days and I still have more than half the pack left because I'm eating like two forkfuls, three forkfuls, and I'm, I'm out your face. And the coup de gras for dessert. A friend of mine put me onto this. Halo Top 
mad that I have it out of the freezer for my video. Halo Top. This is chocolate caramel lava cake. Very fit. Very good. Keto series. And if you're looking to cheat for some ice cream, that's the one. So for those of you who reached out and asked what my diet looks like, this is what it looks like. Comes with everything you see here, like the old He-Man cartoons, you know what I mean? Um, I eat five of these a day. It's just, I never know which five. So when I say five of these a day, I mean, minus the egg, the egg's not here. Scrambled egg in the morning, then I'll do uh, yogurt, then I'll do a protein shake. Then I'll do um, a pudding, and then I'll do the Lloyd's pulled chicken. Or egg, pudding, broth, tuna for dinner, halo ice cream. Or egg, protein shake, tuna, applesauce, and then um, Lloyd's for dinner. It's just, it's, it's, it's just a difference. Pretty much I have an egg every day, and pretty much I either have Lloyd's every day, or I have the tuna with the taco meat. That's my meal plan right now. If I showed you how much I ate of it, you would be like, oh, okay, it's not, I literally two forkfuls of this, I'm done. A cup of this, and when I say cup, I mean six to eight ounces. I struggle to drink this entire protein shake. It's not easy. Drinking after the surgery is the hardest part because you can't do it too close to eating and you have to pace yourself. I'm used to guzzling. I'm a guzzler. Pause. But I have to sip this stuff. I have to sip it to death. I'm actually thirsty right now, but I have to see when was the last time I actually ate something because don't want to make that mistake. So if you have any questions, comments, you want to talk about, if you're thinking about getting the surgery, reach out. I'll tell you what you know. my experience was, although... I'm sure everybody will know my experience at some point. I probably said too much. I'll leave that right there. And um, that's it. I want to thank everybody for the support of the page again as we march toward 500 subscribers. Leave a like. Leave a share. Leave a subscribe. And uh, catch you next time. Sophia. This is the Her House Podcast. That's my daddy.